Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, pastor. Father John Broby, associate pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ, the Lord God, the community of the Holy Spirit, be with you always. It is great to be here today to celebrate these great mysteries, these great mysteries that Christ has brought to us. But before we begin, let us take time to recall our sins and our failures to better prepare ourselves for these mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord God said to me, As for you, son of man, obey me when I speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand stretched out to me, in which was written a scroll which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back, and written on it was lamentation and wailing and woe. He said to me, Son of man, Eat what is before you. Eat this scroll, then go, speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, feed your your belly and fill your stomach with this scroll I am giving you. I ate it, and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, Go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. The word of the Lord. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, 
For I say to you that there are angels in heaven always looking upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your fa heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Become like children. Become like a child, or you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever prayed over that line? What is God trying to tell you? For me, it's a simple having trust slash dependence on God. A child depends on their parents to provide for them. A child, a child depends on their parents to give them shelter, to give them food, Make sure that they are clean, that they're healthy. And a child depends on their parents to teach them. Whoever becomes humble like this child. Have you come to your humility to be like that with God our Father? Relying on Him to protect you, to give you shelter, to give you what you need? Or are we this lost sheep trying to do it on our own? I'm a man. I'm an adult. I know how to do this. I can do this on my own. I can solve this problem. God, help me solve this problem. No, our prayer needs to be, Father, I have this problem. Please help. It's a beautiful prayer. I believe I've shared it in many different other occasions called the Litany of Trust. It's also really just a great ex explanation of trusting in Jesus and the divine mercy chaplet and all of that, going a little deeper, going deeper into that prayer, really truly trusting in God. If we're one of the 99 or if we are the one that is lost, whichever one we are, do we not need to trust in God? We not need to let go of our anxieties, our worries, and trust in our Lord. A child really does not worry too much for the most part. The only worries that a child really receives is feeding off the worries of the adults around them. But if our God knows that He has a plan and is confident and, and is faithful as He says He is. Why would we fill our hearts with any sort of anxiety? For we trust Him. He will provide for us. He will give us what we need. And yes, even times... He might challenge us so that we can grow even more in our faith. But our job is to trust and to be humble as a child. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you to offer you our prayers and our petitions. For the church throughout the world, may God grant each of us the courage and perseverance to humbly trust in His plan. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For local leaders, may God grant them prudence and wisdom to protect the most vulnerable in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all children, especially those who suffer abuse or neglect, may God provide people and resources to come to their protection and aid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community gathered here today, may God help us cultivate humility to accept his word with a childlike faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For William and for all who have died, marked as Christ's own forever, may they enter into the fullness of life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are but a few of our prayers and petitions. We humbly ask them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may such be your Lord, may your sacrifice and sight be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my many, many, many sins. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transformed them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation and always and ever to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, <clears throat> he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. And it is not to temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. After those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord who gives you your fill of finest wheat. Let us pray. 
May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your fit truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.